Hello, and welcome again to God's One Chosen channel. I am Apostle, and I thank you for coming back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be dealing with Christmas, because uh, this is the season now. We, we've come upon the season and that time of year where everybody gets involved in the hustle and bustle of the, the holidays, and, you know, it's just amazing to me of how far we've actually come from actually what this is supposed to be about. Um, actually, I think maybe maybe the, the 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 misconception is because we really don't understand what it is about Christmas. I mean, I believe based on what I've seen, Christmas should be changed. The name should be Santamus. I mean, if you look at Christmas in the way we view it today, Christians alike as well as the world, Santa Claus is the center of Christmas. And Christmas is really supposed to be a celebration of the birth of the Savior of the world, who was Jesus. Um, and I notice, I notice if, if you wait a couple of more weeks, you'll, you'll pass through the neighborhoods and you'll see Santa Claus, and you'll see snowmen, you'll see reindeer, you'll see lights, you'll see stars, you'll, see, you'll even see the Mary, Jesus' mother. Uh, but barely do you see, you may see a little nativity scene about the manger, but do you really see the focus about what it really is? I mean, I did a study, and my study tells me that no one really actually knows the exact date of Jesus' birthday. So it's really not an accurate representation to say that his birthday was on December the 25th. Now, the reason why we celebrate Jesus' birthday on December the 25th, because there was a time in ancient that December the 25th was a pagan holiday. And on that holiday, they celebrated, and the way they celebrated, they got drunk, and they got high, and they performed orgies, and they did all kind of immoral things. And then a guy by the name of uh, Constantinople became emperor, and he declared that Christianity will be the religion for the land, and Jesus will be the savior for the land. So they wanted to get rid of a lot of the pagan practices that were going on. I mean, they, the pagan practices were really, really, like, far-fetched because there's still something that go on today. I mean, we don't do them on the mainstream as as fierce as they did, but it still lingers around because I think it's been corrupted into our religious beliefs. I mean, if we look at the holidays that we celebrate, let's start with Christmas. I mean, what do we really have to contribute to the fact about Jesus during that time? What do we do? We go out, we get decorations, we decorate a tree, we go out and buy presents for other people. I was sharing with my daughter the other day, she brought me a Christmas list, and it had all of these uh, new little trinkets and gadgets, uh, like the, the new iPod. She wanted a new uh, PSP with the sliding uh, window with the GPS, and she had the prices put all neatly aside, along the side, and it just struck me, and I was just like, I asked her, I said, well, when your birthday... Uh, came and we had a birthday party. Who got presents for your birthday? And she looked at me puzzled and they're like, me? And I was like, why do I have to get you a list of gifts and we're celebrating Jesus' birthday? And she said something very important to me. She said, I don't know, Daddy. That's what you taught us. And that was a convicting thing for me because she was right. And what I've come to realize is that we have pushed Jesus out of even Christmas. The name Christmas is, is basically made to celebrate the Christ. That's what it's made to celebrate. We know the Christ is Jesus. So where does this Santa Claus character come into play? What do we tell our children um, six months prior to Christmas and around half of the year? You better be good. You better watch out. You better not pop and telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. Wow, that's amazing when Santa Claus is a fictional character, but Jesus is real, and it's supposed to be a celebration of his birthday. But I think that's just another form of tradition that we've let become instilled in our thinking, and it, it hurts our relationship with God, just as Easter. I mean, Easter is a, is, a, is a real pagan holiday to me because what does the Easter bunny have to do with the Savior resurrecting? That is amazing to me, and if you really think about it, the Bible says that he died and rose again in three days. Now, from Friday to Sunday is one and a half days because the Bible says around between around somewhere around six o'clock that evening is when he died, and he rose again three days later. Now, what we do, we celebrate the Sunday as he rose again. 
And that's a day and a half. Do the math. So you see how we really don't include Jesus in what we celebrate. But we celebrate in the name of Jesus. But we take Jesus out of it. And I just wanted to say this season, I'm going to make a personal effort to make this Christmas about Christ. To make this Christmas about Jesus. To celebrate him. Not to celebrate gifts and, and lights and decorations, but to really celebrate the Savior of the world, Jesus, who came and died for the sins of all mankind. I believe we need to get back to that, and I believe if we do that, we'll have a better relationship with our Lord. Because I can imagine how it makes him feel that we would call ourselves celebrating his birth by rewarding ourselves. That's amazing. If you think about it, and I'm not judging anyone because I'm just as guilty of it as anybody. What I'm doing is I'm making a petition. I'll start off myself. This Christmas, I will be majorly focused on celebrating Jesus. If you're with me, I hope you'll stand and I hope that you'll try that. And I think we'll get a better understanding of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love that he had for us if we celebrate him the way he should be celebrated. I'm Apostle, and once again, I thank you for coming back to my channel and expounding with me on some, some topics, especially one as important as this. All I'm saying, saints, is Jesus is the reason for the season. Let's just remember that. I thank you for coming. I ask that God may bless you and guide you to his merciful kingdom. And I love you, and I hope you'll come back again. Peace.